Okay, these are the samples that we uh, made yesterday. We took some soil from outside, mixed it with some sterile saline solution, and then inoculated various media. This is called brain heart infusion. I need it over the black. Mm -hmm. We'll move down here. You can see along the stab line there is some growth, mostly along the initial half of the stab, the lower half very little growth, which would tend to indicate the organism that's growing prefers more oxygen than the anaerobic portion at the bottom. The next tube we're going to look at is thioglycolate. As you can see, there's a lot of growth in this tube. Once again, more on the upper, say, two-thirds of the, the tube, not as much down at the bottom. This gives you an indication of the oxygen requirements. If growth was only at the bottom, it prefers more anaerobic, which is what you would tend to expect with clostridium. And then the next tube, the third tube, is skim milk uh, media. Once again, looking for growth. We do have growth in there. The cloudiness does indicate that. Growth is mostly along the upper half of the tube of where the stab was done. And then our final thing was we did inoculate a blood plate to see if there would be hemolysis. Now, I'm not going to open this plate for a couple of reasons. First, hopefully you can see that there's different colors, different sizes of bacteria, so it's definitely a mixed culture. Um, there are some isolated ones, such as the white one over here, so there are smaller ones in around this area. I'm going to flip the plate over so that you can see a little bit better. This is a blood plate, and you should be able to see the clearing that has occurred around some of these, this large group of bacteria here, some of these other areas where there's the clearing. That indicates hemolysis, which is the breakdown of the red blood cells. When you see complete clearing of that, that typically is um, indicative of more pathogenic organisms. So we are not opening this plate. Um, if you did a throat swab and you saw that, your guess would be you might have strep throat. So we're not opening the plate. But it is interesting the variety that we do see on this.